come to understanding the truth now, and you decide to bring that same truth to your brethren, you know what they're going to say? Nah, forget about that. That was in the past. But do, do the other nation ever forget about the past and what we did? Look at 9-11, that nearly 20 something years ago. They still went into Iran and all these places, killed Bin Laden, killed Saddam Hussein, killed Mugafi, all these things. Subject them as, as terrorists and make them look bad in front of their own nation. Yeah. Likewise, the same thing with we. we. They try to say we is the lower part of the earth. We are the scum of the earth, yeah. which we is above all nations. Yeah. But because we've never been taught this from our foreparents, we end up now believing that we is the scum of the earth. Yeah. Right? I'm going to turn on myself now. So I'm going to show you this. And even to the scriptures, right? They say, when we read the Bible, we say that is a white man's book. Because we are never taught that this book is our book. They never give, give us the book and say it's our history. They give it and say it's their history, but what a white man write against them. But before it start, you want to say, Kal Allah, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, give all thanks and praises to the elders of, of this world that put passing the truth on. Out to the most high. We say our praises, that Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being God, Yahweh Shai being. Christ was the world ignorantly call him Jesus. We give and give our praises. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 76. So I want to show you that this book is an actual real book and not the so-called Adamation book, right? Man? The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people. So, so when we say thou art holy people, and when we look at the Bible, we see holy Bible. And everybody thinking that holy Bible just means they always come up with some sincere word to tell you, being good, being this, being that. But actually only means to be separate, right? So this book is supposed to be separate to all other books. So we are only people, right? And book just means, Bible just means comparison of books, right? Go ahead. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. So this is our Bible. Let me give it to me for one hour. Right? You see, we are supposed to be above all people on earth. But look at us. Are we look like we are above all people on the earth? Alright. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses said to speak to all Israel. But what do what do they call we in the world? They don't call we Israel. They are the Amaleks over in Israel. They, and the astronauts is calling themselves the original Jews. And we are the original Jews, right? So when Moses says, speak out to all Israel. But how come we end up in this condition? Give me to turn on the 28 and, and one, right? Because if we, if the Mosai make us with a manual, like everything in the world make with a manual, and you break it, what will that happen? Will man function, right? So does the same thing happen to we? We was given this commandment, last such is a commandment to follow, and we break it of disobedience, we end up into a curse, right? So I'm going to show you how the curses go, and you could tell me if these is not the people of the book the Mosai is talking about, and no other nation, can he never give his commandment to other nation? Give me this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 1, and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently, so the most I say, if you hearken, means listen, vigilantly, to his voice, his words, right? Go ahead. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I shall command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So he's saying, once we observe to do all his commandments and statutes, he will set us above all nations upon earth, all people on earth. You understand? But what we did, we break the commandment again. Let me see who gets get the commandment. So this is the commandment was broken by the people, not by us. No, but all right, you give me that. The, the commandment could never break by the Caucasian and them card was not given to them in the first place, right? So listen to this, right? The book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 8. And what nation is there so great that hath statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law 
which I set before you this day. So you see, the commandment was only given to the Israelites. It was not given to no other nation. Now, a lot of people will say, but all mixed multitudes come out of Egypt and the commandment was given. I mean, Jeremiah 13 and 3, right? Or 3 and 13, right? So everybody was there, but it was not so because it, the Christian church in them never tell you that they have to separate themselves to gain the commandment from the Mosai, right? And the only we, as a people, was, was given the commandment and make a covenant by blood with the Mosai, right? It is. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 13, verse 3. Now it came to pass when they had heard the law that they separated from Israel all the mixed multitude. You see? So they will miss that part in the Bible. That they separate themselves. The mixed multitude had to separate because the commandment wasn't given to them. You understand? And only we had made the commandment to the Most High. Give me Exodus 12 and 4 and 7 verse 3. So we can see who made this commandment to the Most High, right? Then we can go back into Deuteronomy 28, right? The book of Exodus. Exodus 12 the book of Exodus chapter 24 and verse 3 and Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord so Moses again talking to the people of Israel all these words that the most I tell him right go ahead and all the judgment and all the people answered with one voice and said all the words which the Lord had said will we do you see right there, the, the Israelites do what? They make covenant to the Mosai. All the words that the Mosai said, we will do and be obedient, right? And this is the covenant we start to make with them, right? Go ahead. And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord and rose up early in the morning and built an altar under the hill and 12 pillars according to the 12 tribes of Israel. So he built a pillar according to the 12 tribes of Israel, right? As you see here, so this is the 12 tribes, right? There's no other nation of 12 tribes. Right? Only we come out to the son the Jacob, the sons of Jacob, right? Which is called Israel, Yasharala. And verse 5. And he sent young men of the children of Israel, which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto the Lord. And Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins, and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant and read in the audience of the people and they said all that the Lord had said will we do and be obedient so there's the covenant right there we said we would be obedient right in back to Deuteronomy 28 and 15 no, I don't so we, we make the covenant to the most high right and we say all that we do said we will do which is the last touch of the commandment right 28 and 15 so now he said, well, if we obey, he will put me above all nations of earth, as we once did, right? But if we don't listen, go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken. Oh, he's, sorry. Now he's saying, if you don't listen, right? And this is your father speaking, right? Go ahead. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So that's where we get, give me 20, 20. So now, this is the curse is going to default you as a people, right? Because we don't listen to the Mosiah and what he said to do, which is the commandment, right? In so as we say, we, we see our people, you're telling me truth now, they will, re, will rebel against you, right? right? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. So that's what we do we know. We, 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 we curse with the blindness. So when we see the truth right in front of your face, we don't want to accept it as it come, right? So tell me what this happened to. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So when did this happen to us? Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. When did that happen to us? During the time of slavery, right? Our sons, was not, our sons and daughters were snatched away from their parents and sent to different plantations around the world, right? Where the south are. Uh, 
the Atlantic. The Atlantic slave trade. Slave trade. But you're not the Saros slave trade also, which is also. I'm talking in the kind of stuff. Also, the Arabs had us in slavery too. That's why our brother come out saying he's Muslim, he's this, you know. Right. So give me a uh, 40, 41. Yeah. So you could contest this up to a, a set of people, right? Okay. Verse 32 again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. Verse 41, thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. So we should have sons and daughters, but we should not enjoy them. In slavery, we didn't enjoy them. And like you just asked about modern day, these modern day, we don't enjoy them too. You want to see why? Give me a uh, 54. But we're not enjoying them then, we're not enjoying them now. Even though that we say we're going to work and look at them after, would you glad to see your baby and your sons and daughters grow up and see the joy of them growing? But look at this. And you can save this in Amtel is 95% of the, the Israelite family as today, right? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. Evil towards his brother would be what in today's modern day society? Black and black crime, right? We look at each other, instead we look at each other with love, we look at each other with hatred, right? Uh, I just want to bounce the Leviticus Why you want to do it just right here. And show that we commanded to love each other, right? Then you go back right there, right? We are commanded by Mosai to love each other, but we, in today's modern day society, we want to look at each other as hatred. But when the so called white man walk through John Street and them places, everybody taking pictures and it's all good, but me and you walk through there, they're asking you, where you come from? Where you doing it? I'm gonna see where I got. They want to kill you. But a man from white so coming right in and you tell them nothing, right? Look at it. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So it's all a commandment. We should not hate each other in our heart, right? Well, thou yeah. shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Correction. Well. And not suffer sin upon him. So therefore, I haven't seen you going off. I should correct you, right? Go back to the Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. His eye shall be evil toward his brother and towards the wife of his bosom. And towards your wife, because every day you go home, your wife always bothering you with where you went, where you do, who you texting, who you calling, where you... You understand the trust you have life on with your wife, right? Go ahead. And towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. And towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. So tell me, in this is in modern day society. We all grew up with stepfathers and stepmother, most of us, right? So, again, verse uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 56. The tender and delicate woman among you. Likewise, the woman, right? Which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. So I shall be evil toward the, the husband of her bosom. Likewise, the same thing, right? Well, and toward her son, and towards her daughter. So towards the son and daughter, the same thing. Are you is find women these days? They want to take well child support is called, right? Yeah. Take the child support money and buy hair with the, the Chinese sell the Indians themselves, right? And go sure. boat cruise and leave the chair with neighbors and people who they don't know. So the same thing is going on, right? You could contest this, right? Give me a... Uh, for the... The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. So in the same land where we say, where the Mosai say we will be above all nations, we be it, right? Well, and thou shalt come down very low. So this is the state we're in right now. As we see earlier, we see the bottom, right? Go ahead. He shall lend to thee 
and thou shalt not lend to him. When we look at all the lending, lending institutes in the world, it doesn't known by our people. The bank, the credit union, all these things. And when you do look at it, every other nation have a, a lending institute and the day name, but we does not. We are the Indian credit union, we have the, well, all the other nations, right? Good, go ahead. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. So now he is the head, and now we are the tail because we didn't listen, right? Huh? Uh, hey, like a little boy, but I think I'm supposed to have something in my back. So, yeah, you have something in my back. Yeah, this is what I'm trying to understand. Yeah. Sorry, brother. This is what I'm trying to understand. Right? Saying that the we end up getting the commandments, right? Right, we end up getting the commandments, and that this happens because of the fall of the commandments that God gives us. Exactly, because the most I give us the law, statutes of commandment that we're supposed to be follow as a people, and because we break the commandment, we end up into these things. It's just like you, you are children. Good. If you are. Yes. How come you only get father and teacher, father and never put in teacher father? No, no, when you. Exactly. You may uh, Exodus 22 and show you why. But we do not worship any picture because the Mosai command us not to make any graven image, right? right? So I can show you something, right? Exactly. That's an antichrist. Alright, so where did we get this image from? I don't know. That's you, why I you know you know the description of the scripture? The description of the Messiah and his father is in, actually in the Bible. Yes, yes but he never put this in the Bible. No picture no. Never in the Bible. The, the, whole, yeah, the, the ancient Bibles picture. had pictures in them. Yeah, the ancient Bible. Yeah, the older yeah. Bibles had pictures. Um, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Watch this. Watch this real quick. We have, we have one to validate something real quick, right? Yeah, first three, yeah. Three, and 40. three and 40. Yeah. Go the book of 1st Maccabees, Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 48. Uh -huh. And laid open the book of the law. So where is the book of the law? Yeah. The book of the law, the Bible, right? Right. right? Wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. So the other nation decided to paint the picture of their image. But they didn't write it according to what the scripture have it as. They write it because they want to fall doctrine us. They believe in this Antichrist is the original Christ, right? Because the original Good. Bibles had our images in them. Yeah. And they take it and they paint over our image with their image. That's right. how you get this. On the time they went, when Father got the part earth, right? Uh -huh. Remember say, we never have no camera on there. So they have to take a picture. So back, back then, how did you get a picture back then? I draw them, then you dry, then dry them out then. No, how you, how you got a picture back then? Back then? Yeah, how you used to get a picture? A draw, then draw Somebody would draw it, right? Yeah, description. But so, were yeah, people drawing the Messiah back then? Well, the look good from your group of clubs. Uh-huh. All you see is a white man, and you never see him a, a black man. And why is that? My father can say, Mr. That is right, his word is right. He say, Mr. Flame of Fire. Yeah. Right? His word is right. His eye is a flame of fire, right? Yeah, they right. will never give us a picture. Right. So, um, who's the tree and four? Because of that, right there. Yes, and, and, right. and you ever look at the sprite as with this man? I'm here. The sprite as with this man. No, no, no. You see, the drink, the drink. I know, darling. You remember they always say image is nothing? But how can you aspire to be something without? having an image of your own people. Why do you think they put them in as everybody? When they're making movies, you see, the Egyptians as white people. When we know for a fact, Egyptians are people that look like us, right? Why would they do that? Because the whole point is to make us think that we are nothing and we will see no examples of us in any form of greatness. But read that piece of summary. The book, the book of Hosea, chapter three and verse four. Wait, says. For the children of Israel, so the children of Israel. The so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Indians, they are the children of Israel. You're an Israelite, pertaining to what your father is, right? Go ahead. Shall abide many days. They will do what? Shall abide many days. They will abide many days. Without a king. Without a king. And without a prince. And without a prince. And without a sacrifice. Without a sacrifice because and the temple was destroyed. Go ahead. And without an image. Without a what? An image. Without a what? An image. The Bible said that we will abide many days without an image. Because we in our minds, 
the God, when a lot of our people close their and pray, that's what they see. That's Hosea, Hosea, chapter, chapter, three and Hosea chapter 3 and verse 4. So this is just prophecy being fulfilled. Now, we're coming to show you all back the true images that are supposed to be in the scriptures. Now, we're not saying this is exactly what the Messiah like, but it's a depiction of a man that looks like our people that's literally in the Bible. So we have to give you back the image. So when you're thinking about the, about the Mosai, you don't think of Caesar Borgia over there, that devil. Right? Go ahead, brother. So, like I said before, this is just a repetent representation right, of what so he's why, supposed why to look like, right? Where's that? This? Nobody can go near to Father God. This? This? A one man goes near to Father God and a Moses. This is, this is, this is, this this is not this is not the Messiah. This is his son. This is the Messiah. This is the picture of the Messiah. The one that they call Jesus Christ. This is that the picture. He walked on earth with many. Yes. yes so did they see him? All right, so that's where we, that's where they get the image from. Because this is not a picture of the Mosa, it's just a picture of his son. And it's not a picture, it's a depiction of his son. Right. What he would look like. Right? Okay, yeah, so, okay. we go into Revelation, and we can show you the description of him, right? What? The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation means to reveal, right? So, Paul did see him, right? Well, no, John, John. John, sorry, John. Which God gave unto him to shew unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Verse 11, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and what thou seest write in a book. Describing again, so you have to write it in the book exactly how we see him, right? Just like how I've been seeing you with a black top and whatever, right? Same that. thing, right? Read right? my Bible every day. Every Good. day, as me come from work, I got my job because only that can help you, okay? You know what's going on. Verse 14 His head and his hairs were white like wool. Go ahead. So only we other people have wool here, right? Yes. Good. And as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. Feet unto fine brass. So when we're looking at the two different, we will see what is actually written and what is not written, right? And your your foot and the rest of your body is same color, right? Good. Continue. As if they burn in a furnace. So Christ had to be a very dark person, right? Guy, the same brown. Born in the furnace is extra dark, right? Yes. So how can they get this, right? I know how get? they got that though. Yeah. <laughs> I know how they got that because of our prince. And his voice as a song of many waters. Right. Now, we show you the more sign now, right? Go ahead. The book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. That's what he called the Mosai, right? The ancient of days. He existed before time, right? right? Whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. Like the pure wool, just as his son, and just as we. We have wool, right? So, all the years we grew up in churches, we were vaccinated under this, right? Christian philosophy, Roman Catholicism, Seven Days Adventist, Mormon, all, all these religions are false religions, right? So when when we come to the truth and we understand it, give me Isaiah, Isaiah, one seventeen, right? When we come to understand, realizing the truth, it makes us mad, and we realize the madness and the folly as we see it that we we study, right? No, no, anymore, right? So when we come out here and we see. Christians and Muslims and all that, we, we see the folly one time and the madness, right? Give me this. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 17. And I gave my heart to know wisdom. So this is what we're supposed to be doing, giving heart to wisdom, to have understanding, right? And who he is as a people, right? right? And to know madness and folly. I perceive that this also is vexation, uh, vexation of spirit. That's when we come out here and we're talking loud and we, we are... Yeah. So, this is madness and folly. And when we see this, what will we, what will we get? Vex, right? And that's vexation of spirit. Again, read it one more time. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, 1 and verse 17. 
and I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceive that this also is vexation of spirit. Exactly, that's when we come out here, we'll be vexed with, you, with mostly our, about our, among our people because we're giving them the truth and they rebel against us. Right? Read the next one. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. When we increase this knowledge, we become sorrowful to see our people living in a, this society. When you look at the Pomenate, most we've seen is our people rhyming, in doing nothing, still drinking, and homeless, yeah, homeless, and this make me mad. There's oppression, right? That the life living, still asleep. Right, we still are slaves in this modern day society. Give us seven and seven, right? Right? Oh, you feel? You f ain't you feel oppressed in this nation? Ain't you feel oppressed? Yeah, Look at this, right? When the hundred dollar bill changed, right? It become illegal. Everybody has to run to the bank to change the money. If you do not give a conference, it become illegal. But now we as a people not talking anything about the 20, 10, and 5 that they change and it's not illegal. It's just going to go into the system until it trend. But you know what? They sort we out. We know we're going to protest for a certain period of time and then guess what we're going to do? Oh, we're going to forget it and accept it. But why the, the 20 and the 10 and the 5 not illegal the same way as the 100? Nobody, I know where in the radio, know where in the news, nobody protests. But read this, 7 7. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. With all the, the knowledge that you have, when you're being oppressed as a people, it's going to drive you crazy. Understand? And a gift destroyeth the heart. So they give you a little and it destroy your heart because it, Rowley said that make the rich rich so they could give job to the poor. That is not true. <laughs> Are they talking about being equal? Which part of the world will we be equal? There's no way. You making the richer rich to what? Do what? Read that again. Press the poor, right? The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter seven and verse seven. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroy the heart. A gift destroy the heart. Now, again to some. Now it says, you say you read the Bible every day, right? Okay. So you know by the last such of commandment that the most I give to the Israelites, right? Excuse? Good. So what we should do as a people to be back in these, these status as we was one. Once. Well, most we not read the Bible to follow right? Right. Why not give them up? Them upright, they never give them a commandment and they don't live to it. Right. Then go and then do them right? So if we don't live to it, therefore we have to do something to be back there. We should keep the commandments, right? Yes. Good. So I'm sure some of the commandments that we as a people break and continue to break, that's why we're not back on top, right? So give me some other people. Okay. Right. So, question is, who are the Israelites today? Because we know the Ashkenazis and the Amaleks claim that they are the original Jews. But who are the original Jews today? But we are part of Israelite, right? Part? Not part. We are part of Israelite. That we are from Abraham. Right? We are part of Israelite. We, we are the so Israelites. We are the Israelites. We're not part of the Israelites. We is the Israelites, right? Remember, so we are like the grand city, great grand galactic. All right, that's how I read. Just the public accent. But I will read this, right? The book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 31. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break all So you see it by the covenant that break, right? Go ahead, go ahead. Although I was an husband unto them, saith the Lord, but this shall be the covenant 
that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, said the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying no the Lord for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them saith the Lord for I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more thus saith the Lord which giveth the sun for a light by day and the ordinance of the moon and of the stars for a light by night which divided the sea when the wave when the wave thereof rose, the Lord of hosts is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me, said the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. See that, right? So, in modern day society, they teach us that they are spiritual Israel, right? So, once you believe, it's Israel. But the most I see, once the sun sees, are the the stars and the Israelites will still be here as a people, right? So everything with the most I promise belongs to the Israelites, right? So there's no spiritual Israel as people who want to indoctrinate you with. Give me Romans 9 and 1 first, huh? You can see that there's no spiritual Israel. It's all about flesh and a descendant from the son of Jacob straight up to the 12 tribes of Israel, right? After that, give me a Roman point. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 16. There is no end of all the people, even of all that have been before them. They also that come after shall not rejoice in him. Surely this also is vanity and vexation of spirit. So there is no end of the Israelites. As we want to say it now that yeah. Yeah. Of, yeah. Anybody. Okay. of anybody. Of so, anybody. Uh, so a lot of people will say in the Old Testament the laws and statutes given them to the Israelites and then in the New Testament it moved on to all nations of people. Correct? That's what they say, right? But this is what it, this is the New Testament now, right? right? The book of Romans chapter 9 and verse 1. I say the truth in Christ, I lie not, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrows in my heart, for I could wish that myself were cursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So you say according to the flesh and according to the spirit, right? What? Who are Israelites? Who are what? Who are Israelites? are Israelites, right? Go ahead. To whom, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenant and the giving of the law? The adoption both and the covenant both old and new, right? And the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came? According to the flesh Christ came. So, you see the doctrine now, because they don't read, they could fill your head with all these nonsense. Exactly, don't read. Give me Revelation 1 and verse 3. Now, we don't like to read. First phrase they have, right, is that they want to hide something from and they go in for it. In the book. In the book, right? Yeah. The Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. So the most I say, blessed is he that readeth. They are the read, right? And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. So we say read, know them, and do them. <laughs>